Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna to do a video on unboxing on this Hamilton Beach, The Scoop, single serve coffee maker, model number 47550. This will be a series of videos. I will be doing a detailed review. I'll also show you how to descale it. In the detailed review, I'll show you how I make coffee with it. This will be a um, unboxing and show you what you get in the box and dimensions, how big it is and everything that comes with it. So this thing, Retails at Walmart for $35. Okay, so I cut the tape open. Let's see what we get. So I like to lay them on their side in case anything falls out and then pull it out onto the table. Okay, looks like it's got an instruction manual. It's got this carp or this cardboard tape to it. So we're gonna open up all this and see what we get. Okay, it's got this quick start before first use. We're gonna make sure we do that. Comes with this scoop, comes with this. It looks like a really nice manual. Okay, so let's go over dimensions really quick. Front to back, you're looking at about seven and a half. Around the back, there is no cord storage. Side to side's about six and a half, almost seven. So I get this question a lot. This will fit under a kitchen cabinet. With the lid raised, it's about 17 and a half, maybe 17, but kitchen cabinets are usually 19. So it looks really nice under a kitchen cabinet. And just up to the top there is about 13. Okay, so let's just kind of look at it. This lifts up and this was, this was in the box separately. So I, Guess it just fits there. We'll find out later. There's what the top looks like. Got like a seal. Again, that just lifts up. This is hinged. This is where the water goes. I don't see a water filter or anything. Always let's look at the bottom. Always try to find the watts. Okay, 60 hertz, 1300 watts. 1300 watts, that's what the bottom of this looks like. It's got like a stainless steel finish. This comes off, this isn't, nothing else is removable. It's got these buttons, regular bold. Must be where you hang. <laughs> it's pretty neat. So I think this thing, you turn it around and it doubles. Yeah, as a, um, let's, let's do some measurements there. Okay, so with this tray installed, looks like we're about at the four, four inch mark. And then when I turn this tray around, oh, I can't fit that in there. Nope, that's a pretty tall travel mug. But let's see what we do have. So maybe seven and a quarter, seven and a quarter. And you really can't take, if you take this out, there's like a, little hump there your glass could fall off of that okay on this quick start guide it just says run one clean water cycle through the coffee maker for the first time so I am going to do the actual setup in the detailed review I'll do the making the coffee I'm not sure what this is okay kind of kind of a brochure telling you about coffee and that that's pretty nice yeah I like that and then the manual, Hamilton Beaches are okay with their manuals. This, this one seems pretty nice. Pretty, looks like pretty descriptive what to do. So it talks about that was the brew basket. We got the filter holder, filter well, the multi-level flip cup rest. Again, there's a hook for it. Water reservoir and then the shower head. Control panels, those two switches. 
So this lifts up, this comes out. This is what, this does not come apart. Doesn't look like we got something there. That's like a, that's a metal filter. Very sturdy. This pops out. Looks like we got another filter, like a metal um, wire mesh, kind of plasticky. And this comes out. Okay, wow. So you can really take this thing apart. This is like a really heavy duty cup. It's got a hole in the bottom. So there's, yeah, you can take this thing apart, really clean it good. There's the brew head. I don't think the brew head comes off. Okay, so let's reassemble. We're gonna put this cup in first. It kind of sits there. Then we install this. It's got this metal. Then we install the cup. There's kind of like a cut out there for the handle. And this comes down. It doesn't really snap or anything. It just kind of like the spring holds it down. There's no real snap. It looks really nice. I mean, you can tell it's mostly plastic, but that metal finish is nice. So don't be deceived. It does not come with a travel mug. That would have been nice. It comes with a stainless steel travel mug that matches it, but it does not come with a travel mug. Okay, so I'm gonna put some water in it. You know, this does look, it's dusty. I might rinse that out. That seems pretty dusty and stuff. I'm just going to put it, it does have a little step there. I'm going to fill it up to the eight ounces mark, the step. Close the lid. We're going to plug it in. Let me measure that cord. Cord is approximately 24 inches long. It's two prong and one prong is bigger than the other. Okay, so I plugged it in for the first time. I've got my uh, mug down here. And it says just to hit the power button. A blue light. Nothing's really happening yet. So I've got I've got all this installed. I don't have any coffee here. It says just to run some water through it to clean it out. Okay, so it's starting to make some noise now. Okay, so it's starting to suck the water down. And the water's coming out, okay. In my detailed review, I'll do a temperature check. We'll see how it makes coffee. Well, it, is, it is pretty quiet though. So I just did a sniff test. I don't smell any like burnt plastic. Sometimes with new coffee makers, you'll smell like new or burnt plastic when you first run water through them, but I don't smell anything bad coming from the machine. Okay, so that didn't take no time at all. I did get some just little flakes in there maybe of some manufacturing dust or something but uh, yeah I definitely definitely would want to clean this up but that's it it's done it's really quiet and that was really quick and I'm also going to do a video on how to descale it and I'll do taste tests with some different coffees so check out my next video with the detailed review thanks everybody for watching and if you could please like and subscribe